a $3 million grant from Walmart to the University of Arkansas Center for Agricultural and Rural Sustainability should help strawberry growers across the country be more productive. The National Sustainable Strawberry Initiative is a new competitive grant program for the Center for Agricultural and Rural Sustainability at the University of Arkansas. The Walmart Foundation's $3 million donation will hopefully lead to fresher strawberries for consumers and an economic boost for local growers. The purpose of this project is to demonstrate effective best management practices associated with production as well as food safety, marketing, and profitability measures in sustainability or in strawberry production. If we can get that word out nationwide, we hope to enhance production around the nation to provide local foods throughout the year. Division of Agriculture Horticulture Professor Kurt Rome says strawberries are a highly perishable fruit with a short shelf life. Expanding commercial production through this project will address that. One of the challenges we face is that the average strawberry travels between 2,000 and 3,000 miles from the farm gate to the dinner plate. And the strawberries only have a shelf life of about seven days. But if we reintroduce it, we reduce the transportation, we, reduce, we increase the uh, chance of getting a high product, nutritious, wholesome, product to the consumer at a cost that's uh, affordable to the consumer. So this project I think is kind of a win-win. One of the goals of the grant program is to expand the growing capacity outside of California and Florida where the majority of commercial strawberries are produced. So we're hoping to have a number of projects such as this project that we're in that can demonstrate that in Arkansas we can grow strawberries from approximately mid-December to here we are in late March and these strawberries will continue to flower and fruit until mid-May. So we've now taken our traditional season that was about three or four weeks long and we've converted to a five month long season. We're also hoping that this program will be successful, that we can make an impact and make a change in our strawberry system in the country because we believe that uh, Walmart or other agencies will come back to us and say we need to continue this for another year or another two years. We believe that there is sufficient science and research technology at our university and at universities around the United States that we can reintroduce the crop by introducing these technologies. So the grant program is aimed at taking laboratory and research experiment station work and moving it out into the production field. So this grant program is really about technology transfer, demonstration, and education. Rome says grant project awards will typically range from $100 to $200,000. The Center for Agricultural and Rural Sustainability expects to fund 10 to 20 projects this year and will begin awarding them in late May to coincide with National Strawberry Month.